Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4, New Order of America. Let us continue on for the last that's off. So, big, big news. Uh, RFK has, uh, that's, that's a previous one. RFK has won the election. 340 to 197. Uh, Boulderstadt has fallen into friendly hands. It's beautiful. Haiti has fallen into the hands of the communists. That is, that's less, that's less what I'm looking for, but it is what it is. Okay, so you want to assist in reconstruction. We have 43 days on you. Hunter Banditos. We have 42 days. We're done in 13. we got to keep our eye on this the best that we can. And I think, like, we just kind of march into uh, Ost Africa. We take everything that we can get our hands on, and we just simply win the war. Right? Like, that's, 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 that's all it takes. You just have to win. I don't know why people make it so hard. Just win the war, idiot. Go to Lashaka. We'll keep on taking whatever cities we can. And then afterwards, we just take all of our forces. We march away into Central Africa. We don't worry about the weird lake they got in the middle here in Congo. And then we just, like, have a great time. That's what makes sense to me. Uh, so we don't worry about anything here. Divert attention to the military. South African war. Propose a ceasefire. The thing is, I don't want a ceasefire. I want to win. If we have 50 political power, we could offer it. All the following must be true. Yeah, because we're, we're overwhelming in our uh, position. The thing is, I don't want a ceasefire. I don't think there's no reason to. Okay, we've lost the African gamble, but I think we do have, still have the speed. Yes, that's going to go until Christmas. We don't have to worry about you. We're getting so much political power because we're not doing any focuses. And, I mean, I have nothing to really use it on right now, which is good. Um, crank up the draft. It's not really anything I care about. The, the home front's stable. The um, the war is going great. Philippines, I mean, the Philippines are really our biggest concern. Five days until you're ready to go. If you lose fear of the Philippine government, place undesirable cannon in charge of the Philippines. Is this going well? How long do you take? 60 days, plus 40% chance, demobilize the Filipino army. Uh, Ordez been inaugurated president of Mexico. And demobilize the army. But we will not be able to do the banditos. That's probably fine. We need, we need more command power, though, as well. And, you know, actually, uh, we can divert attention to the military. That costs us 50. And I'll be done in seven days. Excellent. A Christmas miracle. The Christmas season was normally a busy time under normal circumstances on Capitol Hill. There were always last-minute scrambles for budgets, bills, and other legislative matters before the break. It's made even worse this year with the South African War. And while the uh, normalcy had uh, somewhat settled, McCormick had never uh, had a spare moment. His throat cleared behind him. Mr. President? Despite the initial confusion over the chain of command, now several months in, everybody has uh, decided to call him that. Arrangements have been made and uh, legally sound as possible, and that would effectively uh, let him hold the uh, authority of the president, even if it wasn't technically co constitutional. The court, frankly, didn't care if everything uh, he did got undone later. All that matters was getting through this first. What is it? He asked uh, the staffer, who's uh, uncharacteristically entered without knocking, and even more uncharacteristically uh, was smiling widely. Idaho completed the, ram the ratification, he said. We've crossed the threshold. The 23rd am Amendment is now in effect. The corpsman immediately sat down, a wave of relief washing over him at the news. The amendment was such a small thing, just outlining the line of secession, but these past months have shown just how critical it was. He found it difficult to express his relief, knowing that no one else would have to go through what he did. All he wanted uh, for Christmas was, to, was for this crisis to end, and by an act of providence, it appears that it had. He took a breath, stood, and spoke to the staffer, who was uh, waiting patiently for what to do next. Call the press. We have some good news to share for once. Well, that is excellent. Now, I'm pretty sure... Is that the 23rd Amendment in real life as well? Because I know... Um, I mean, it's kind of... Because the, I'm assuming the amendment that was put in place after FDR... Um, probably didn't happen in this timeline, right? Because FDR... And I don't think any of the presidents have served more than two terms. The Atlantic handover. As a German invasion of the British Isles in 1944, the Canadian government was hastily declared the trustee of Britain's various uh, overseas dependencies. Okay, so Canada, I guess, handed over all of these territories. Oh, you're actually just in the OFN. 
Uh, I, mwah, mwah. That, is, that, that is more than fantastic. We love to see it. Okay, polls have updated. Oh, wait, did, did the elections actually not held? I believe this is the same. This will now be removed. Excellent. Okay. I mean, everything is going about as well as it ever possibly could. Unassigned divisions. You will just go to the border with Canada for now. I'm not really too concerned with you, to be quite honest. Elizabethville is technically entering um, Central Africa, which I'm not uh, extremely concerned with. I want you going around. Uh, okay, go here to here. And then you're going to keep moving your way up north. And the presidential election season is over. America decided the victory speech and uh, coalition of the uh, winner has taken place, as it did more a sovereign concession speech of the defeated candidate. The last of the ballots have been counted and certified, and the election of 1964 is over. The resident of the White House has been determined for the next four years, and that uh, the Congress is the next two. Does this actually say anything? Okay, so the uh, president stuff's going to get removed. That is A-OK. -okay. Drawn and quartered. Stop committing war crimes. After losing so many buddies to the enemy, there's nothing the men of the uh, Tiger Force wanted more than to catch one of the Kraut Bastards alive. And uh, one morning, they had pushed through an old battlefield. They got their wish. As their APC rolled over the devastated earth, they spotted a movement among the bodies half buried in the muck. Blonde hair, blue eyes, the uh, German pedigree. The ranks of his uniform identified him as an offer of the SS. A shot in the spine had left him paralyzed for the uh, below the waist, and he had laid there since the battle in a uh, pool of his own filth. Drinking tainted rainwater from the mud and praying for a clean death. He would not get it. The general funneled for his gun when he saw the Americans approach, but they got to him first. It was all the excuses they needed. The men of the Tiger Force tied cables around his legs and attached them to the back of the APC. They took him down, uh, took him for a spin through the grime of the battlefield, dragging him over the ruined bodies of, the, of his comrades. Through the uh, congealed gore, first he shouted, then he screamed, and then he begged and cried and called for his mati, and finally he was silent. As a, uh, as a sharp turn, his head was dashed against a rock, shattering his skull and his brain matter splattering across the mud. The Americans groaned, uh, furious that their fun had been interrupted, and cutting the German uh, broke uh, loose, uh, corpse loose, rolling away to look for more survivors. I mean, like, it's not great. Like, when you, when you phrase it like that, it seems bad. Okay, insurgency has been crushed in uh, Paraguay. Martial law in Indonesia. When failure benefits. Following the recent declaration of martial law by Sukarno and the full nationalization of Japanese assets across the country, we regret to inform you that several informants, plus one handler, have been compromised due to the ongoing chaos, resulting in their arrest by local security forces. However, much to our surprise, they had approached us with an offer. Juan Zucles Lubis, the uh, director of the Indonesian Intelligence Directorate, had proposed that in return for the broader support for the uh, rebel groups situated in this Muta region, our agents would be released from captivity. Uh, it is truly fortunate for us to have made an ally with such high rankings uh, within the government, and we have taken the, the appropriate measures to make use of this golden opportunity. It should be stated for, in the record, however, that luck is far more of an actual policy than uh, for our profession. So I'm assuming at some point we'll be able to intervene in Indonesia. Soviet-Siberian War. You are down to 53. I would like for our allies to take more cities. I think that would be nice. Um, this area here. Are you also Celsius Africa? No, I mean Ost Africa. Yes, you are. Why are you so strong? I actually don't understand how you're taking such a beating. Now we're attacking to you again. Because you are worth... You are 30! My goodness. Gee willikers. That's pretty good. Okay, and again, I don't want to move into um, Central Africa. You know, actually, yes, I do. We will just simply encircle all of these German divisions, and they will be kind of stuck. And that, that sounds great to me. You're worth 10. Zanzibar City is worth 10. Then you're going to go over to Tonga. Then that's going to go to Ethiopia, uh, which is not our concern. Also, I need to... 13 days. This to be 14 days. 20 days. I think I've maybe have messed this up a little bit. 
Operation Garden. Because that'd be 10%. I mean, you know, you so much political power anyways. Let's at least do it. We'll demobilize the Filipino army. So. <laughs> I probably should have been paying a little bit more attention. I will. I will admit that, okay? What are you? Okay, that's for the foreign policy things to uh, run out. Boris III has fled Bulgaria. Okay. Are you switching sides? Like, what, what, what are you doing, Bulgaria? What is your plan? Livingstone is worth 10. Again, Lushanka is worth 30. It's, it's, a, it's a big prize to have. And then I guess you're going to go to Coma, move your way over to here. Uh, you are worth 10 victory points. I want to meet up with you. Busted. What do we do, as the radio man? Looking into his captain for confirmation. Um, he would get none, for as he was staring blankly at the bridge at an Indonesian ship nearing his vessel. They're repeating their request, sir. Christ. Uh, yeah, uh, allow them on board, stammered the Australian captain, sweating bullets, and tell the crew to make sure everything is hidden properly. The radio operator nodded and began relaying the orders. The crew scrambled about and below deck to get their cargo secured and themselves to their post should there be any violence. Aboard the uh, proper naval vessel looming over the uh, glorified scow, the Indonesian captain was uh, having his own exchange with his crew. These Australians uh, really thought they were pulling something off, flying an Indian flag, he said with, to his uh, radio man shortly after, terminating communication with the Indians. Well, uh, you know what to do. More orders were exchanged, and fairly soon a small Indonesian boarding party was on the Australians' deck. The Australians were unarmed, making the Indonesian job quite easy. Like a pack of coordinated hunters, they split up across the ship, while two remained to keep the captain in check. Among them was an, uh, was an executive officer, who was sweeping through the decks with the rest of the men. Sir, we found it, he declared. Found what, the Indonesian captain asked, despite knowing the uh, answer. As he strode into the room he, the uh, shout had originated from, fairly soon he was in the galley, where one of his men had uh, shunned aside an icebox and opened a loose panel on the wall. He waved the uh, exo over and crouched down to examine the now exposed crate. They removed it from the wall and pried it open. And there they were. Firearms. OFN firearms. The officer patted the crewman on the shoulder. Tell the men to take the crew prisoner. Well, uh, that, that's not great news for us. We want you to move in this direction. You're looking good. Uh, this APC will then move their way over to Nolda. Move their way up north. Go over to Dodama. Like, there's just, there's no German troops in Africa. So, like, we, we should be fine. Now, unfortunately, I think I've also fucked up the Philippines, which is very funny. Um, but hey, you know, like, how are we looking at the, if we look at the Cold War screen, right? Um, Cold War... Look, look, look at our score. We're, we're a thousand over the Japanese. We're 1200 over the Germans. Like, we're, we're set. We can lose every conflict from here on out and still be the world's greatest power. That's America, baby. Collapse of the underground state unity. I think that, yeah, that's, that's for Poland. And there we go. Okay. Republic, race, common strats, Ost Africa has collapsed. They're, they're done -zo. So that means that we want to approach. I guess from Leopoldville, move our way up north to Macau, and then sweep over to Hitlerstadt. That means I actually want to move my units back here now. Nope, do not turn on night and day mode. I meant to press B, not N. Like, it's... it's we're, we're so good. Now we just gotta defeat Central Africa. Like, I, I knew that, like, once one German... Uh, one, 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 baby, when one German uh, Reichskommissrat had uh, collapsed, like, that was going to be it. Foreign policy decisions are available. That is for things we don't care about. Um, so Philippines. Co-founder of the Japanese. They are still a, they're still in the American sphere. American remnants. Army of Freedom. Brian Wilson retires from touring. On New Year's Eve, the Beach Boys performed Out La Sign uh, at New York uh, City's Times Square. Broadcast as uh, part of Guy Lombardio's annual TV special to millions of homes nationwide. However, it may have been the last time that the lineup of the Beach Boys performs for the foreseeable future. 
Brian Wilson, the band's bassist, songwriter, uh, sign, songwriter vocalist, uh, has announced uh, this morning at a press conference that he will cease touring with the band and will set focus on songwriting and spending time with his wife, Marilyn Rovell Wilson. Wilson's spot on the uh, touring lineup will be replaced by uh, Glenn Campbell, a, se- a session musician who previously worked with the Beach Boys, as well as with singers like Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, Phil Spector, and Elvis Presley. Or barred by questions from the press about whether this had to do with uh, the stress of touring, burnout from releasing three studio albums in one year, or the recent firing of his father, Murray Wilson, as manager, the visibly uneasy Brian called an end to the conference and quickly departed. Reporters later reached out to Murray, Brian's father, who described Brian's decision as, uh, what always happens when you just get too big for your own good, and that his son needs to get his act together and stop letting all this go to his head. Other members of the band and their representatives of Capitol Records could not be reached for comments. Okay. Again, this is encircled. You're encircled. These little two pockets, we don't care about too much. Like, how many troops do you have right now? 7 to 16, and that's including who knows how many units are currently, like, just trapped, right? So we're going to get these guys to move their way up north, and then they are going to swing over, and then they're going to swing over a third time. Basically, just do this. Just go all the way around. Well, actually, no, that's stupid. Uh, a handful of you. These guys, for sure. There's a couple of major cities right here. So we should probably also move there. Um, I mean, there's a lake, unfortunately, but uh, I'm sure you will do your damnedest. I mean, it's looking good. It's looking good. Now, they did take back uh, Luanda, but... That will very quickly go back into allied hands very, very soon. The project, the uh, project, project rebel. Assuming chaos following a recent introduction of martial law, along with the nationalization of major Japanese corporate assets, has brought a spike of unpopularity to Sakano's regime, with dissent rising even among the government's own ranks in response to this heavy handed shift of policy. Among them is the one remaining political figure that remains respected by the Indonesian population, the vice president, Mohamed Hatta. According to Intel on the ground, Tata has expressed great opposition to the recent policies implemented by Sukarno, as well as being uh, noted to have grown far more distant with his revolutionary friend than he had been before. Due to his unblemished standing among the public eye, we believe that he may have finally found a rallying figure to kickstart a rebellion into action. The agency advises uh, to attempt reaching out to the Vice President Hata directly if possible, uh, but more likely to approach him through either rebel groups in Sumatra or Selassie. Uh, through, uh, through his uh, public standing, he will become a figurehead for a self-sustaining movement capable of opposing Sakarno proper. Is there anything we can do with our intelligence in this area? No. But we can still align uh, Nova Cerberus uh, to us. We will send another military shipment to you. And... Um, infantry equipment. I mean, I think it just makes the most sense. Please bring our units forward. As quickly as you possibly can. We have one infantry here. Not strong enough on your... Actually, where, where are my, my... My planes are still back here. I should have done this a million years ago. I'm very stupid. <laughs> okay. We will go for more support ships. That sounds great. Units are rallying to where they need to be. There's a couple... Again, there's just some major cities right on the border here near... Uh, Near uh, Rwanda, so I think it makes sense to approach that quickly. And what does Central Africa collapse at? Are they also at 20%? Or are they at uh, 25? Okay. Okay, if you're on this army, you're here. If you're on this army, you're here. Uh, we're then going to shrink this line down to just be on the coast. Please redeploy all of my units here ASAP. And you guys are all... How many troops are on this line? One. Four. Okay, please redeploy... I need you over here as quickly as possible. I don't like how our allied troops are getting kind of encircled. It's not what we want to. It's not where we want to be right now. As always saying, I believe that uh, Nouveau Lyon can serve as the perfect place to connect uh, Mexico to Texas. I've come over uh, the numbers myself. I've I've gone over the numbers myself, and my experts predict that we could triple cross-border co- uh, commerce among our cities in the uh, region if we do go through the project proposed last week. 
Several Ford executives have already uh, discussed their interest in establishing themselves south of the border. The Azord has spoke with his deep and powerful voice. He delivered every figure and statement with the uh, air of finality to it, as if it could be undebatable. The harsh tone clashed with the uh, sincere beauty of Apoleko. <laughs> as uh, part of him uh, felt too uh, similar to McNamara for the American president's liking. Romney had heard before that the Mexican president's uh, many detractors often called him Big Mouth, and now that he saw Ordez in person, he couldn't disagree. Even someone like him found it hard not to uh, stay at it for perhaps uh, a second too long when Ordez smiled at him, revealing a set of teeth that looked like it had come from a chimpanzee. From what he uh, heard, he didn't even bother about uh, how the public received him, and that was worrying for a man like him. All this sounds spectacular for local economies in the region, if it ends up going off without a hitch. Yet I remain worried about the uh, figures that you've left out. Do you think your people will be fine with this project? Last thing I want for this project is to stop midway through because Monterey has uh, been put under martial law. Romney tried his best to nudge Ordi's policies to uh, being a bit more free-spirited uh, in his use of the army against his enemies so far. But Ordez has uh, become more stubborn than he believed. Mr. President, Ordez said with uh, the least amused tone one could imagine, uh, it, would be fit, uh, it would fit right into a funeral. Mexico is not the United States of America, and I've seen that this nation is for the past seven years. In every city, there are enemies of Mexico just uh, waiting for their moment to strike to halt progress like this project from happening. Trust me, as long as I am in charge, I can assure you, you'll never get that chance. But I will say, at least for now, with the collapse... Oh, actually, it looks like, um... Wait, when did, when did this collapse? When did Kenya pop into existence? I'm not even, I'm not even too sure. Anyways... Uh, I think it's going to be a good time for us to end this episode for today. So if you enjoyed, remember to thumbs up. Not enjoy, give a thumbs down. If you want to see more, subscribe and goodbye.